All right, so as you can see, the show's back on. Okay, so here's a video that I promised um, uh, to explain a little bit better how net works. So here is uh, a container that I am willing to dip into paint. Okay, so this is just the invisible tape box. I took the tape out of it, and so this is made of all different rectangles, okay? So this is a rectangular prism, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it into paint, okay? And I'm getting it all dirty. Make sure I have paint on every surface. So obviously it's not gonna be perfect because my fingers are getting on there. So there will be some paint coming off. So hopefully we can get a really good visual here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off right here, okay? So that being done, I cannot, usually if I put it in the middle, I can go this way or that, but I have only limited space to work with. And so I can't go that direction because I don't have enough paper or this one, but you're not limited to one or two directions. For me, I'm gonna go this way, okay. So I'm gonna flip one over, Ooh. okay. And I'm gonna stand it up, okay. So that's my second phase. Now I'm going to lift it up a little bit because then it seems like it's going to be attached. And I'm going this way. So you can't really see too visibly here. That was two different faces. That was the flat side. That was the, the narrow side. And I'm going to pick it up again and go this way. Okay. And now I have this side left and that side left. Okay. So I don't have enough paper this way, but I'm going to do that. And then back here and this way. Okay, so now that is one of the nets. Not that great of a job, uh, but you can see one phase, two, three, four, and five, and six. So that's all six. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, so let's pretend that I open this box right here. So one fold will go this way, okay, and then one other fold will go this way, okay, and another one will go this way, and one here. But now, I have this side left, because see, I have the bottom side, the all four sides, and I have to go this way to get the rest of that, okay. So, hopefully that's a little bit of a better visual, okay, so if you can see, this is my one phase, large phase, or the square part you can see. And this is my second square right here. So those are the same. And then I have the four sides of um, the rectangular prism. Okay, I In the net, you will not have these gaps, but I left them just so you can see, because as you could see in the first attempt, uh, you can't really separate one face from the other in a net if um, I'm just keeping them attached like you're supposed to in a net because the paint overlaps and you can't really see uh, the boundary. Okay, so that's why I kind of lifted it up, left all gaps. But when you're drawing a net, you'll have one edge and a line in between to show that this is a separate face and that's separate. So hopefully that helps a little bit better. Okay, and let's see if I can do a little bit better and make one more okay so this was my old papers um, that I printed IRPs back in the day <laughs> uh, so I'm using the other side of those papers to make the most of the papers we printed I don't like to recycle them until I use both sides okay see planet earth yay okay so here we go again Okay, I can unfold it this way, okay, and unfold it that way, and fold that side out, and this side, and all the way out. Okay, so that hopefully works a little bit better. Again, there's a little overlap, okay, so it's very sticky and working with one hand makes it a little bit challenging. So I have one, two large faces, and the four sides. Okay, so play around with that. Uh, sometimes cutting open a container isn't enough because there's a little bit of overlap in the paper and that 
doesn't really help when you're trying to visualize what part is uh, what is part of the net and what's not okay so let me know if that helps and um, give it a shot try different boxes uh, try out different things you can even try um, you know cut out a little piece okay so for example if I cut this piece out and draw linking faces make sure there's six of them and then see if you can fold them along the lines and create a 3d object okay so it's a trial and error uh, you'll figure out where you have too many faces in one direction and then you can try manipulating it and because this is one part of math where you can do hands-on activities okay and that'll help you really understand um, and get a good grasp of this concept okay take care